Living with tremors can make everyday life difficult. These involuntary muscle movements affect simple activities like writing, eating or even driving a car and they can rob people of their independence. Now medications can be effective but if they don't work then invasive risky brain surgery is often the next step. I'm Dr Elizabeth Healy in Ohio in the USA to find out about a new procedure that uses no anaesthetic and no incisions. It's surgery without scalpels. For most of her life, 58-year-old Sunny has suffered with essential tremor, a neurological disorder that causes involuntary muscle movements. Gosh, what's all this? <sighs> Things I create. Abnormal activity deep in the brain causes shaking, which is especially noticeable in the hands, and something that can be extremely disabling. And that's very fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Fine control. Involved. I think that was the last one I was able to do. I can't do that anymore. Sunny, how long have you had essential tremor? I've had it uh, at least since I was seven. Really? Mm -hmm. Where does it manifest itself? It's in both my hands. Okay. Um, it's in my head, especially if I do any hand to mouth motions. I only drink out of a straw now, so going to somebody's house to eat, unless I know them awfully well, yeah. then I just, I don't do it. I just don't do it. Uh, brushing my teeth is a nightmare. I've damaged my gums, I can't even tell you how many times. Um, I have scars all over my hands from cooking. Can you show me what your writing is like? It's <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. That's hard work for you, isn't mm -hmm. it? You can feel the tremor through the table. Yeah, it can be very strong. So I can just make that out. My right name in. is Sunny. <laughs> how does it feel when your body is doing something that you can't control? Pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's very painful. Um, sometimes it can make me cry because there's so many things I'd really like to do and I know I can do, but I'm not allowed to because of my hands. Mm. Yeah. Invasive surgery and radiosurgery can be used to target the affected cells that cause tremors from within the brain, but these procedures carry significant risks. Surgeons and scientists at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center are now trialing a completely non-invasive technique. Focus ultrasound is a new technology that uses the power of ultrasound beams to go through the skull and meet at a central point within the brain. When the energy from all these thousand beams combines together, it is powerful enough to cause a small and precise lesion in the brain. It's a bit like when you use a magnifying glass to concentrate light rays to burn something or start fire. Yeah, absolutely. So what are the advantages of this procedure over the current procedures for essential tremor? The main advantage of focused ultrasound is uh, it being a non-invasive treatment. So without opening the skull, patients are awake and you can look at their uh, specific tremor while they are drawing objects or writing. Uh, the immediate feedback that you get is a key part of this procedure that allows us to be uh, accurate while the patient is still on the table. It's so exciting. <laughs> it, it indeed is, for sure. Sunny is just the seventh person to undergo this new procedure at the Wexner Medical Center as part of a clinical trial. Good. Did you sleep well last night? <laughs> <laughs> She's very honest. I love that about Sunny. Yeah. Morning, Sunny. How are you? Nice to see you. Feeling a little nervous, I can imagine. Yes. That's, That's it. it. That's to be excited. That is. Try to hold this cup. Right hand. Is that hold it. Cover? Yes, it does. <laughs> Should I take it off so it shakes more? No. <laughs> We're basically seeing right now what Sunny can do and seeing where we're at at the moment prior to procedure. With all the stress of being here in the exactly, hospital. Exactly, and being yes. watched by us. Okay, so Sunny's pretty much all set to sort of go into the machine. We can't go in and film in there, but we can film in here. 
And this is kind of the control center. This is the point where Dr. Krishna will be manipulating the controls to, to get the effect he wants. Yeah, you're going to go a little more now. All right, right here with you though. This is the reconstruction of uh, Sunny's head, uh, her nose, eyes, and ear, you can see. And as we go through the skin, you can see this is the part of the skull where a lot of the ultrasound energy is going to get absorbed. Mm -hmm. And once we are through the skull, and you see the brain, and I'll show you the... This is the part of the brain we have identified to be the target. And you can see the ultrasound uh, rays that are coming in from multiple different elements to converge into the small area of the brain right. to cause lesion. And now the next step is to start the, the treatment, mm -hmm. step by step, to see how much energy you need to deliver to try and treat the tremor. Yeah. OK. All right. Let's start the treatment. Let's start. Okay. We'll probably go with 200. 10 seconds. All right, Sunny, we're going to start here, OK? Dr. Krishna treats Sunny with 14 sessions of ultrasonic energy, known as sonications, which will burn the affected cells in her brain. Each sonication lasts around 10 to 15 seconds. Feel anything at all? All right, perfect. Dr. Agrawal tests her movement and writing to monitor any improvement and determine how well the treatment is working. So these are spiral drawings and uh, line drawings of her writing sample. Let's see how bad her tremor is. And now we've given her some short sonications. Mm. We're going to see if that's changed at all. Exactly. Okay. All right, Sunny, another treatment here. It's 300. 30, 30. Yeah, 30, 30. Yeah, joules for 10 seconds. This is number six. Third test. She actually said she has better pen control. She's actually not rushing through it. This is exciting stuff. Yeah. Great. So this is a big one, Dr. Krishna, is it? This is a big one. You're going to get the full amount to cause a lesion where you want it. Continue. So guys, we hit the 50 point mark already. So she's done. That's it. They're testing her again after doing quite a, a strong last sonication. It's quite remarkable. Her hand is rock steady now. It's, um, it's quite phenomenal. That's a big grin. It's a very big grin. Oh, right. oh my word. <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. Look at the nice smiley face here. Yeah. I know, it's brilliant. Look at that circle, yo. So this treatment has been extraordinary for her today. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Sorry about that. You're done and everything's off? You're all over? As long as everything's off, I'm a very free woman. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome. You're more than welcome. You all rock. Oh, I think you're the rock star. Yeah. That's it. Cool. <laughs> the following day, I visit Sunny to find out how she's getting on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this. That is incredible. Isn't that amazing? How are you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. Look at that handshake, solid as a rock. Yes. My goodness me. You haven't used that hand like this in over 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So retrain your hand to actually do stuff you want it to. It's just going to be a little... I do. Time. I kind of have to talk to it. Mm -hmm. Sunny, yesterday, how were you feeling about the whole procedure? Were you aware that you were improving as, I was. as the time went on? I was. And it was really hard not to, like, start jumping around. <laughs> in that thing, I was like, oh, don't move, don't move. <laughs> yeah, I was, I watched it, I was like, oh my god, it's working. It's going to affect practically every movement I make. It, it, everything, absolutely everything. The team hoped to get US government approval for this procedure by the end of the year, which means that it will become available to other patients outside of the trial. It's extraordinary to witness the immediate impact this has had on Sunny. I'm trying to make it pretty. Can I show you what you did last time we met? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> That's more than cool. That's miraculous. Star patient. Mm. Pretty good doctor, too. Yeah. Great team. Yeah, the whole team was amazing. That's cool. It's very That's cool. cool. Did you ever expect to be able to do that a few days ago? I've been hoping for years. Then, uh, I guess sometimes hopes come true. <laughs> <laughs>